Tifu by insisting that my fiancé be present in the delivery room. I gave birth in November to my beautiful twin boys. My fiancé is squeamish and he made it very clear that he didn't want to be in the delivery room. I insisted because my best friend moved overseas and my mom and I are estranged. The thought of going through that all by myself especially since I'm a first-time mom really scared me. After many talks my fiancé agreed. The big day finally came and he was there which made me feel less anxious. The delivery went smoothly except the fact that I pooped myself while giving birth. After the last twin came out, I noticed that my fiancé was a total mess. He had thrown up and eventually passed out. Fast forward to now, he has barely touched me. We haven't had sex at all since the birth and if I didn't know any better, I would say he looks at me with disgust. I finally had the courage to bring it up and he said witnessing me giving birth and simultaneously pooping really turned him off. It was the most disgusting thing he'd ever seen and he doesn't see me the same. The talk opened up room for him to bring up the fact that he needed time away from me. He left to stay with his friend. But I later noticed on our shared computer that he had been looking up places for a while. Too long did not read. I insisted that my fiancé be in the delivery room and ended up ruining our relationship. He sounds like he's not ready for an adult relationship. It's poop. You had a child. You went through the physical trauma and he's playing victim here? Absolutely not. P.S. My husband wiped my ass for three days after I had surgery because I couldn't do it without pain. I was in tears the first time I pooped and he wiped away my tears and said it's okay. That's a man. I mean you wanted him in the room, but I'm assuming no one forced him to position himself for prime time viewing. I stood at the head of the bed for my son's birth holding my partner's hand and didn't witness the majority of the more extreme parts of birth, she didn't want me to anyway. If it was unavoidable I would have sucked it up but it seems like in this situation he chose it for himself despite knowing his personal challenges. In any case, who tf leaves a new mother with baby twins by herself? You don't specify how much time has passed but it sounds like less than a year, pretty selfish of him. Wait, they're his kids right? WTF he needs time away from you? What about his two newborn children? WTF. Who would want to deliver twins alone? And then he left you with newborn twins because he's squeamish. I can't with this. You did nothing wrong op. As a father of three, I can confirm. This guy is a fucking moron. I'm sorry seeing the mother of your children give birth might make your tum tum hurt. You know what else hurts? Pushing a human, too. Out of a tiny hole in your body. Isn't his mere presence the least he could do to be supportive? Oh, it's a turn off? L O O O L O L O L O L. I would say good riddance, but feel sorry for you new mom and the babes. I sincerely do hope you guys can work it out op and both be happy, but if that's not in the cards, could be the relationship is best served apart. Edit. For those saying op should have respected his boundaries, fiance was not required to look below the waist. Could have just stayed by mom's face and been supportive from there. Today I fucked up by writing a grumpy note and leaving it on a badly parked car. I went shopping this morning, and when I got to the car park it was full, except for two spaces opposite each other on the end of a row. The problem was that a car had parked in the road between the two rows, so neither were accessible. I drove around for a while looking for someone coming out of a space, and after five minutes someone vacated a space so I parked up. I was on one of the rows with the empty spaces that were blocked by the arsehole car, and I did the admittedly petty thing of writing, you park like a cunt, on the back of an old pay and display ticket. I slipped the note into the gap where the window meets the door and went about my shopping when I got back to my car there was a guy sat on the bonnet of my car. He looked like he was maybe 19 or 20, and was wearing a cheap gray suit. If I had to guess I'd say he was a trainee letting agent, or maybe one of those guys who stands in the high street trying to sell you broadband. Either way, the scrawny guy was sat on my car. Me. Is there a problem? Him. You think you're funny leaving notes on my car? Fucking prick, I didn't even try to deny it. I'm not normally one for confrontation but I told him to his face what I'd already written on the note. It wasn't a long argument, it didn't get physical, but a few choice insults were thrown. I told him he looked like a shaved rat that had been kicked through a branch of Moss Bros which is a reference I suspect only the Brits will get. It was only after the argument had begun that I twigged that he knew it was me who wrote the note, so I asked him how he even knew who wrote the note, you wrote it on a parking ticket with your fucking reg number on, you thick fuck. I couldn't stop myself laughing. 
The only piece of scrap paper in my car had identifiable information on it, and I used it to call someone a cunt. Too long did not read. Left a note on a badly parked car written on a parking slip with my car's reg number on it. Got into an argument with the owner, childish insults were thrown. Edit. I wrote the note on a pay and display ticket proof of payment to park. It wasn't a parking fine. The fuck up is writing it on personally identifiable material when you wanted to remain anonymous. Please continue calling out asshole parkers. Fucking prick. I'm a Brit and I instantly thought, this is my lot, isn't it? You didn't get stabbed. Chalk it up as a win. Thought you were going to say it turned out they were a disabled driver with a passenger who uses a wheelchair and a child in the back seat. And hash X200B. Turns out you were right to leave the note, just executed it badly. That's why I have pre-printed business cards that say, you park like a dick, which I put on the windshields of appropriate vehicles. Today I fucked up by giving a little girl a bag of random items for her birthday. I was taking my 10-yo daughter, Gabby, to her friend's birthday party. On the way, we stopped at Target to buy a birthday present, and some other items I needed. I dropped her off at the party and went home. When I got home, everything I had bought at the store was missing, and I realized that Gabby had quietly dropped everything into her friend's birthday gift bag. Altogether, the kid got a Squishmallow toy, the intended birthday gift, a tube of arm and hammer dental care toothpaste, a package of two Ferraro Rocher chocolates, a bottle of Schweppes ginger ale, a variety pack of delectable cat treats, and a small bag of popcorn. When I picked Gabby up from the party, she confirmed that she did give all that stuff away to her friend. She said, I thought it was all for her. The kid's parents must have thought we were the strangest people they ever met. Too long did not read. I fucked up by giving a kid a very weird random birthday present, and the parents now probably think I'm really strange. It's important to not spoil children with lavish gifts. Good, utilitarian items they can actually use is way better. Hey, you did that kid a favor. S. The cat treats for non-cat owners and toothpaste are the best. Totally thought this story was going to be about giving her a studded dildo. I legit giggled when reading your story, thinking about their reaction when they received your gifts. Thanks for the chuckle. This is the best foo I have seen all day. I am sure her parents knew it was a mistake, but they probably won't give the items back. At least it wasn't anything massively expensive. Today I fucked up by writing my girlfriend a nice note. In my, 17 male, civics class we have this thing where we write, nice notes, to people for extra credit. I wrote one for my girlfriend saying, you give good head bro. I was trying to be funny and to be fair it was a compliment so it was a nice note. She laughed at it, and she showed to her friends. My teacher saw them laughing so he came over and looked at the note. He wrote me up for being inappropriate. Which I understand, but then he reported me for sexual harassment. He knows she's my girlfriend and he didn't even ask her if she felt harassed by my note. So now I'm suspended for three days, and I have after school detention when I go back. Too long did not read. I wrote my girlfriend a note for asking credit saying she gave good head. My teacher saw it and wrote me up for being inappropriate and reported me for sexual harassment. Now I'm suspended for three days. Bah ha ha ha. I know it might seem crap at the moment but you will laugh about that for years to come. And if you two ever get married you've already got material for the speeches lol. So, did you get the extra credit or not? Yeah. I'd say maybe don't write about your sex life in a class assignment, lol. Yeah maybe don't do that shit at school. Dude learn this lesson. If you write shit like this at work, even if it's to your GF, anyone reading, listening, seeing, watching, etc. anywhere in the workplace can report you for sexual harassment. 